Hey guys, um, so I'm coming up with a new video. Um, it's been a while, it's been a year actually since I've made a video. And um, again, I was purchasing a lot of stuff and I thought it was a little bit selfish not to share it with you. Uh, and in December and uh, early Jan, I was buying a lot of stuff and especially a specific brand, especially Rico ones. And I thought instead of showcasing everything, uh, that I bought, I could only focus on Ricoans. So that's what I did. And so today I'm presenting eight pieces that I bought from Ricoans in December. And in those pieces, there's one true grail. Uh, it's, uh, it's a $1.4,000 uh, piece. And it's absolutely unique. I haven't seen it uh, almost anywhere. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a truly amazing piece. So stay tuned. Um, so yeah, a little bit about Rick Owens. So Rick Owens is a designer that uh, does timeless pieces. It's a, it's a designer that works a little bit similar to like Andy Mellemeister, Yoji Yamamoto, Julius, which are uh, avant-garde designers. And uh, unlike, let's say, Saint Laurent, who uh, changes its style uh, season over season as designers are coming in. So let's say uh, Saint Laurent, uh, Elise Lemon is uh, working one year, the other it's Anthony Vaccarello and the change, and the, sorry, and the style changes from Elise Lemon to Anthony Vaccarello at Saint Laurent. So Rick Owens, you know it's uh, Rick Owens who's always designing uh, the collection. It's very similar uh, from season over season um, and I, that's why I love it. So a little bit about my relationship with, uh, or my relation with uh, Rick Owens brand. It's probably my favorite designer. I wear it every day at work to see my friends. It's a uh, very versatile. And I think once you jump, jump into the Rick Owens uh, bandwagon, it's, it's hard to leave. Um, so yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, Fall Winter 16 collection because those pieces are from Fall Winter 16. So it's the Mastodon uh, collection. And it's a really interesting uh, season because unlike maybe previous season where uh, it's a little bit edgier, a little bit more aggressive, this season I think was a little bit softer, a little bit uh, more uh, voluptuous than, uh, than previous collections. So uh, I thought that this season was, was quite interesting. So let's jump into the first style, uh, which I think is very... Um, telling about the specific season of uh, Fall Winter 16. All right, so the first piece, uh, I think this is a piece that is very characteristic from uh, the Fall Winter 16 Rick Owens uh, collection. Uh, this is a Dark Shadow piece, and if I did not mention earlier what was the difference between Dark Shadow and Rick Owens Men Line, uh, the difference is very uh, subtle as um, I would say the Dark Shadow pieces are a little bit uh, easier to wear. Uh, it's the, the classics, it's the regular pieces that you would wear every day, whereas the main line usually is a little bit edgier, in my opinion anyways. But the difference is very subtle. The, the other one I would say, and it's more in the branding, is the two lines here. Uh, in Dark Shadow you will see the two lines, uh, whereas in the main line you will see the two lines plus the name of the collection uh, and uh, the season. So, a little bit more about this piece in particular. Uh, this piece, I think, it, as I was saying, is very um, is a good example of the uh, Fall Winter 16 collection, as it's very drapey. Uh, it feels like there's a lot of layers. It's very soft. It's it's very um, it's very smooth. It's very soft. Where uh, whereas maybe in, in previous seasons of Rick Owens, it was a little bit uh, more raw. Uh, here you see there's like a soft raw uh, edge here and an interesting thing, thing with this piece is that you could wear it both sides actually you could wear it from here or the other way around and it's it's all made in cotton uh, all the pieces here are made in Italy and I, yeah I think it's a it's a super easy piece to wear uh, it looks very drapey you could wear it with uh, with you know, uh, sweatpants, uh, some, something that is, uh, that it is very casual, I think, that's my opinion. So let's look at our second look. All 
right, so let's jump into our second piece. So this is also a dark shadow piece, and I think it's still um, uh, specific to the Fall Winter 16 uh, collection, as again, you, you see that there's not that edge that you would see maybe in earlier season of Recoins. Uh, there's a lot of uh, nice details. Uh, the stitching here is, I think, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, there's a certain stiffness to the, the cotton, you might not see here, but there's there's uh, three buttons uh, in the sleeve, which is flared, which is, uh, I think, something that you don't see often from Rick Owens flared uh, sleeves, but I think that's a great detail. And you see details throughout. Here in the back, you have uh, a string uh, to uh, to pull down, uh, well, actually, to to put it on. As I was saying, it's, it's quite stiff, so you, you, would, you really need that uh, string in order to put it on. And... Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great piece that I would most likely wear at an event. So this is not a piece that I'm going to put on every day, in my opinion, anyways, uh, because that piece I would like to uh, wear for specific events. So instead of wearing a blazer with a shirt, I might just wear that and it's going to go fine. I'm going to look stylish and, um, and I'm going to respect, I would say, my aesthetic, which is a little bit... Uh, darker and maybe not as um, as common as like wearing a shirt with a blazer. So that's what I would wear for an event. So let's look at our third piece. All right, so this is the third piece and this is probably one of my favorites uh, out of all the ones that I have. Um, this is a one size piece. It's again, dark shadow and um, it has all the signature elements of Rick Owens. So here the, the stitching on the collarbone, uh, straight line in the front, uh, straight line in the back. And um, the, one, the one size fit usually is, is, is great for me. I usually wear a large and this, I would say, fits me uh, really well. And one particular detail that I like in this one, uh, first off, there is the softness of the, the cotton. It's really, really um, a nice piece in terms of quality. And here you might not see it, but there's uh, actually like a very interesting patch of um, actually Rickwin's face here, uh, which I think is uh, is fun. You know, it's a, it's an interesting twist with a raw uh, edge here. I think as I will uh, wear it and uh, maybe uh, clean it, etc., it might um, tear a little bit here. But I think that's probably part of uh, Rickwin's aesthetic. So I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, I think it's, uh, it's really a, a great piece that again, falls into the, the Fall Winter 16 uh, collection. All right, so let's move into, uh, I believe our fourth piece. So this again, a dark shadow um, product, but I think this one is very, um, I would say is more common. This is something that you see uh, more season over season. Um, it has, uh, interesting patch here with uh, and it's a, it's an interesting color it's actually pearl you have again the uh, classic uh, straight line in the back with the the two lines here on the collarbone which uh, actually makes you look good it like makes you look uh, a little bit straighter a little bit more uh, structure which which I think is interesting one detail that I haven't talked about uh, in the uh, dark shadow is actually here in all the, the pieces that I have is a little bit of a it's a, a classic Rick Owens um, image, which I don't, I don't think you, you see here, wearing high heels with a DS for Dark Shadow. And so that's, that's really a, an easy piece. Not much to say about it besides uh, uh, the interesting pocket here. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to... Oh, actually, uh, I just remembered that Unlike the other pieces, this one fits a little bit uh, tighter to the body. It's, it's quite narrow. Um, so I still uh, am wearing a, a large because it's a kind of a different twist. It's a little bit uh, closer to the body, but uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, so the other, the, the, the other piece, this is a piece that I got early on in December and um, it's the main line. So it's, uh, it's not part of Dark Shadow. And as you will see here, well, or not actually, uh, there's the, the name of the collection with the signature, uh, with Rick Owen's signature. Uh, so that's a little bit of a detail that you, you see it 
only in mainline. Um, and you know, it's a easy over long tank top. It goes super long and it's extremely soft. It's made in silk and uh, viscose. So that makes it like super soft and very um, drapey, I would say. So that's a, a great, uh, that's a piece that I'm gonna wear all the time in summer for sure. Uh, and that I will maybe wear as a layering piece uh, in uh, winter. So easy tank top, uh, super fun. Uh, not much to say about it besides that it's pretty cool. All right, so one of the last guys, I promise. Um, so this is a Dark Shadow uh, Flight Bomber. Uh, in It's all in a sweatshirt type of material, just like my uh, sweatshirt that I'm wearing now. And actually, I'm going to combine those two, those two reviews uh, because this I bought in December uh, as well. So uh, all of those are uh, super thick, um, sweatshirt material very very nice uh, very uh, soft again but a little bit heavy you know um, and yeah th this is truly like a, a classic uh, beautiful recoins piece over long uh, thick sweatshirt um, and a lot of uh, other retailers actually uh, try to copy it uh, you can see some at, you know, like the, the Zara uh, of the world will try to imitate those pieces because they are truly, uh, you know, great pieces that you could wear even if you don't have that recoined aesthetic, you know, because a black bomber is uh, super, uh, you know, super cool and super accessible from all types of, uh, of styles, you know. Uh, I wouldn't give that necessarily like to my father, but uh, I mean, to a, a friend, uh, I could definitely see even a, a friend that is not that uh, stylish, I could have him uh, wear that. Um, and same thing for my, for my sweatshirt. Um, those are pieces that are easy to wear, that you can wear absolutely every single day. And well, not every single day, but I, I mean in every uh, daily occasion you could wear it. You could wear it to go to the grocery store or to go to work and it's uh, totally, uh, totally cool. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the last uh, review of like the more common pieces and now let's jump into the true grail uh, that I found um, in a moment. Alright, so for the true grail, this is the $1.4,000 scarf. Uh, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's enormous. It's uh, 2 meters by one meter. I apologize for the people that uh, are not accustomed to the metric system, uh, but it's enormous. It's really great. Uh, it's, um, you have three colors in here. You have the pearl, the black, and the, um, I would say a dark brown, dark gray. Uh, it's extremely warm. As you can imagine, it's mohair, polyamide, and, um, and wool. And it's really, really great because the mohair gives it that uh, fuzzy feel, uh, that little bit of a, a untouchable uh, feel. Not untouchable, but very subtle uh, and, a, and a soft feel that is, very, um, that is very in line with the Fall Winter 16 collection from Recoins. Um, so yeah, I'm extremely happy about it. It's a unique piece that I haven't seen anywhere on the web besides like a few shops and um, yeah I was absolutely uh, ecstatic to find it at my local store uh, this I think is worth uh, every dollar uh, of it it's it's a tr it's a true truly an amazing piece uh, from the the texture from uh, the, the colors of choice uh, the choice of color I mean uh, the design uh, and the <laughs> the absolute uh, you know how big it is it's it's really big you should look it up if you don't know uh, what two meter means but it's it's taller than me it's uh it's about this this big uh if you don't see it on, on the camera <laughs> but uh yeah true grail and i would definitely recommend it for anyone all right so i hope you liked the video uh those were my eight pieces that i bought in uh, december from rick owens so let me know if you have any comments, if you want to like, 
and if you want to share please do um, and uh, yeah I promise I will be making more videos coming up in the future uh, it's been a year since I've made any videos and uh, I think in the next year that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to uh, post pretty much uh, every uh, every month most likely and uh, I'm gonna try to uh, put some stuff on Instagram as well so uh, please go check this out and you know, if you want me to review what I bought also in December, but that weren't showcased uh, here, so I have uh, you know Damier Doma stuff. I have uh, Tamania, which is really an amazing brand. I bought uh, two pieces from from him, uh, and undecorated man Japanese pieces, etc. So, you know, if you want, if you're interested into that, please let me know. I will be doing another video on that uh, Alexander Wang shirt. You know, bunch of sh bunch of bunch of stuff sorry uh, so <laughs> so yeah so please, please let me know and uh, I will see you next time